This is my go-kart van. I don't know much about it. I've had this thing for a really long time, but we got it from a friend of my dad's and it was striped up to match like his competition pulling van or pulling truck. So it's never had, or at least I've never had a motor in it and we've never really done anything with it. So I'm going to try to fix this crack real quick in the roof and then I'm getting it wrapped to look like a, like a 1978 Dodge street van, uh, which is going to be awesome. So the goal is to have this thing wrapped and at my dad's show, Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals in November. So I got to fix this crack. My original plan was to fiberglass it and I have the resin and fiberglass and all the stuff except for hardeners. So I think instead of that, I'm just going to epoxy it real quick and see if that works and then go from there. So hopefully this will hold it once the epoxy dries uh, and then tomorrow I can come back and like sand it a little bit, put some Bondo or something over it to make it smooth and call it good enough. Uh, there's also this big chunk missing right here. I'm not gonna do anything about that. I think I'm gonna try to get some like side pipes or something that looks like side pipes to go there. So I don't know, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's not like a show vehicle. <laughs> so I guess it's, it's gonna look cool either way. So that's I have a lot of unfinished projects in this building. Slowly but surely, I am crossing stuff off the list. Uh, today, I'm taking this beast to get it wrapped. Overall, it's not perfect, but it's good enough. This is all stuff that's come out of this car, by the way. I'm paring down the wiring harness and thinning it out. So like, these are all wires that can come out. I just have to de-pin them up there. I don't really know why I'm doing this, but it'll make it look nicer under the carpet. This thing is way easier to move than the golf cart was when I was similarly loading it. <laughs> Loaded up, got her tied down. Shouldn't be moving too much. This thing's gonna be awesome. I probably should wash it, but I don't have a hose here, so. Looking good now. Oh my God, the trailer just came unhooked from my car. That sucks. It's sitting over there on the side of the road. Uh, yeah. Gotta flip this thing around, I guess. That sucks, it cracked the front there. Damn. Got it hooked back up. Should just be able to pull out and go straight across here. That sucks. All right, so it's not that damaged, but the trailer is obviously messed up, so that's brutal. Yeah, it cracked the front. All right, so my new plan is to just limp this thing back home. Uh, I had to tie this rope thing around here to get that to stay down. I don't have a safety chain. I think my wires all got ripped out. <sighs> Super bummed and frustrated. All right, I got this thing unloaded and it's not really that much more damaged. Uh, this crack in the roof came back when it hit and this is pretty broken up here. So I'm gonna fix that. Then if you look on the inside, you can see where it's like really cracked, but I'm just gonna fiberglass back here. And what do you think of this? Uh, oh. Yeah, I crack right there too. I think that one I'm just gonna leave. And one back here. Yeah. There's a trim piece that goes around there, so I'm not too worried about that area. I don't know how to get out. Do you want me to lift you? 
Mexico. Laura and I are going to Mexico on Tuesday. Today's Saturday. So I'm going to kind of clean up our garage a little bit and just general stuff I've had laying around the house. These letters I'm ready to hang. Uh, I got a different receiver and ball and pinned it. It doesn't seem like this thing is going to come off, but I don't know. I'm going to take that apart and rebuild it. I have no idea. That's the first time it's come disconnected for me, but I guess my father-in-law said it happened to him too. So something's wrong with that. I'll have to figure it out later. I'm just going to take the go-kart and a bike also back to the shed. I did get some fiberglass work started on this thing. First layer, not perfect. I still have to trim it and fill it and sand it, but I figured since I'm doing fiberglass work already, I might as well fill that. That's old. And then I braced this crack from behind and did a bunch of resin here and behind this one. And I resined up here and sanded some more to get that crack fixed again. So I doubt that this will be done for Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, uh, especially since we're gonna be in Mexico for a week, which takes a week out of my timeline, but whatever. This way? Yep. Over the pool noodle, put off the brake, steer us right onto the trailer. Are you sure this is safe? Yeah. Straight onto the trailer. You got it. Go nice and slow. Go to the little, there you go. Need a little push? Yes. Inch it forward. All right, we made it. This thing didn't fly off, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna move some stuff around, and I'd like to get the boat later today out of the water, maybe. But uh, I don't know if I will or not. So I want to at least get the trailer ready to I move out. I want to get in. I want to go in the stairs. Evidently, I left it unlocked last time. We're